Today we are looking at the closed cross-country line from Castlemaine to Maryborough in central Victoria. Castlemaine is a substantial station on the Bendigo line, which was once a very busy station with a sizeable freight yard as well as being a junction station. Today it caters for passengers and is a base for the tourist railway to Malden. The Maryborough line branched off at the Melbourne end of Castlemaine. It ran through the residential area before arriving at Malden Junction. The tourist railway still uses the main line up to this point after which the main line has been removed for a number of kilometres. The line was opened from Castlemaine to Maryborough in 1874. The last passenger service ran in 1977 and the line closed in 2004 with the section from Malort to Maryborough remaining open for ballast trains but it too has since closed. The first station along the line was Campbell. The station site is still fairly easy to spot. Opened as Campbell's Creek, the name was shortened to Campbell in 1904. A passenger platform and a good siding were provided with the siding being closed in November 1964 with the station being closed to all traffic in 1970. Some of the original wooden uprights for the platform are still visible in the soil. Guildford is the next station. Here once again most of the station has been removed but it's not hard to see where it was. Guildford had a loop siding with a dead end goods siding. A passenger platform provided was cut back into the hill behind the station. 1955 saw Guildford's safe working status altered by being disestablished as an electric staff station. In 1968 the up end points were removed making the siding a dead end. This station had an interesting feature in that a mine had been dug at the back of the passenger platform that is still there albeit unused. Enter at own risk. Just past the station area we see the rails reappear in place although there are plans afoot to form a rail trail. The bridge over the Loddon River is found just down the track. In 1994 this train hauled by R766 found its way across the bridge on its way to Maryborough running a fan special. Strangways Renamed Strangway in 1904 was the next station with nothing much at all to show there was a station here at all. It was renamed Rail Motor Stopping Place 27 in 1955. This bridge is located halfway between Strangway and Newstead. It looks like it stood the test of time and awaits its next train. At a distance of 92 miles, 10 chains and 94 links, Newstead is around one third of the way along our journey. The station buildings and environs here have been refurbished for use by the local art community. The grounds are well presented and the area looks well used. This station boasted three roads in the yard. One through the goods shed, a dead end road to a goods platform at the end of the goods shed and a dock road on the passenger's platform side of the yard. The station was demoted from station master in charge to station officer in 1971 with the station officer removed in 1980. Newstead was disestablished as an electric staff station in 1987. Joyce's Creek is the next station we come to, but the original station site is now under water as the station was closed and the line deviated in 1956 to allow for the Cairn Curran Reservoir to inundate the land the railway previously ran along. By the look of the fence lines it looks like provision for a siding was made but I cannot confirm a siding was actually supplied in this new location.
The bridge over the Cairn Curran Reservoir is part of a railway deviation and is an impressive construction which was built in the 1950s to facilitate the construction of the reservoir which would inundate a section of the railway that was on lower ground. The reservoir was built primarily as an irrigation reservoir but is also home to a yacht club and is a popular fishing and water skiing location. The reservoir construction began in 1947 and was completed in 1956. Malort Station had a passenger platform as well as a good siding. In later years Malort had silos and a grain storage shed constructed which still exists today and still sees limited road traffic serving these facilities. The line itself has been closed for a number of years now. There is still plenty to see with rails scattered around the yard and up the line in both directions. Malort was a staff station up until 1955 when it was disestablished as a staff station. The signals and plunger locking for the siding were abolished in 1968 and replaced with staff locks. In 1973 the passenger platform was reduced from 202 feet to 60 feet. As we approach Carrisbrook we find ourselves traversing the bridge over the Tullarup Creek, a substantial concrete and steel construction. Once across the bridge, we arrive into the Carrisbrook station, which is marked at a distance of 107 miles, 49 chains, and 8 links from Spencer Street Station, now known as Southern Cross, of course. Carrisbrook had a yard with goods shed and goods platform, passenger platform, and a carriage dock at the Miraburra end of the platform. The buildings here are run down and deserted but are still standing. The station master position was removed in 1955 and in 1987 the electric staff was removed and replaced with the train staff and ticket system with the section being Maryborough to Castlemaine. Stockyards were also provided at the Castlemaine end of the goods shed in the yard. The approach to Maryborough sees the road crossing covered over with bitumen. Rails are still in place and growing weeds. The line has a box placed on it but is also physically cut off from the network. The line arrives into Maryborough beside the Velocity Stabling Depot and the old locomotive depot which is now privately leased. The path the line took can be clearly seen from the air. Maryborough Station is a majestic old building with a lot of character. It has often been stated that Maryborough is a station with a town attached. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel here.